High-speed trains offer an efficient mode of transportation for both passengers and freight between destinations. In an era where countries strive to reduce carbon emissions, electrified and energy-efficient trains can serve as an environmentally friendly alternative to air travel. Operating at higher speeds, these trains help reduce travel time deficits between different modes of transportation. For instance, the distance between the capital Beijing and Shanghai can be covered in just 2.5 hours on a train traveling at a speed of 400 km per hour, equivalent to air travel. China boasts the world's largest railway network and operates maglev trains in Shanghai. Utilizing electromagnetic technology, these trains float above the rails to eliminate friction and can reach speeds of up to 500 km per hour. However, maglev technology is not widely implemented throughout China, and the country aims to increase the speed of its trains on existing infrastructure. The China Railway 450 Technology Innovation Project is one such endeavor. Earlier this year, researchers from the Chinese Academy of Railway Sciences reported that the County Route 450 was nearing completion, and China Railway had completed a test run on a segment of its network from Fuzhou to Xiamen in the eastern province of Fujian. The tests were conducted on the bridge across the Meizhou Bay, which is a crucial section of the 277-kilometer high-speed railway between Fuzhou and Xiamen. The report states that over 57 experiments were conducted in the country to verify the reliability and feasibility of the new technologies used in the County Route 450 project. China's achievement of reaching a speed of 453 km per hour with the County Route 450 puts it ahead of high-speed trains currently operating in various parts of the world. Another project, the China Railway Fuxing, is currently undergoing testing and may reach speeds of up to 420 km per hour. Interestingly, Fuxing trains do not incorporate any technologies patented or licensed by other train manufacturers, showcasing China's ability to create faster trains through domestic innovations.